Welcome back, viewers, to another edition of uh, Focus on Africans, the program where we discuss uh, with Africans and uh, yeah, people of African origin and also people with uh, contact with our continent, Africa. Today we are still in uh, Amsterdam, the southwest part of uh, Amsterdam, the area they call the Burma, where we have a lot of Ghanaians. And today is, uh, we will be talking with one of uh, the leading Ghanaians uh, in this country, in this community. He's one of the pioneers. Uh, his name is uh, Mr. Kwashi Odame. Help me welcome Mr. Odame to Focus on Africans. Mr. Odame, thank you very thank much you. for welcoming us in this uh, to your house. Thank you. Yeah? Yeah. And uh, please, we start by asking our guests to introduce themselves. Who is Mr. Odame? Okay. I'm a Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. Odame is a typical Who has Ghanian. lived in Amsterdam. And uh, from London? Okay, a little bit. Yeah, but where do I, where is part of <laughs> Ghana where you born? Uh, I'm from the Eastern region in Praiso. Oh, Praiso? Yeah, in mm. Praiso, in the in Praiso, Eastern okay. region. Yeah. What, what do you remember from um, Praiso? <laughs> what was the... I was schooled uh, in there. Yeah. I, I, first, I, I say I was born there, schooled there. Mm -hmm. But after schooling, mm. never stayed there. You didn't stay? And, uh, you moved to... Because of where Canada place is working outside my... Uh, but that's where you grew Ridgy. up. That's where you grew up. Yeah, I grew oh. up. So. What do you remember from um, Praiso? Do you have a festival? Do you have a... Okay, normally. Mm. Uh, a songs or dance? Um, Praiso, or oh, in general, I don't think has got any yearly festival apart ah, from okay. the Kosidae. Kosidae? Yeah. What do they do there? Uh, every 40, 40 days. Okay, on Kosidae. Sundays, they celebrate uh, what we call Kosidae. Oh, as, okay. as it happens on Sundays. What do they do then when they are celebrating? Mm. Kosidae? It's every Sunday, 40 days Sunday. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a it's like in their a calendar. festival okay. where the chiefs yeah. and the, the elders, uh, elders yeah, mm. uh, meet and uh, it's an occasion for dancing. Also, you know, Kawusa are mm -hmm. traders mostly in yeah, Accra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so these, oh, are the, okay. these, uh, these are the days they could come in. And wow. then, but the greatest of them all is the Easter. The, oh, and yeah, so yeah, since yeah. we don't have any. Uh, Tribal or yeah, tribal uh, feast. Okay, then you celebrate use the, Easter. Uh, the, the Easter as, as our idea. national festival. Yeah, I remember a few years yeah. ago they introduced uh, paragliding. And, uh, yeah, he does it. Wow, wow. Now it's okay. yeah. become a yearly affair. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it must be beautiful because I've been to that those uh, area. Yeah, I remember the mountains. Yeah, very nice. Wow, to look at yeah. Wow, From wow. Coco, you see the mountains the there. Mountains then, there. Yeah. But as a, as a teenager looking at those mountains, <laughs> do, you, do you have to climb them? Why not? Really? Uh, the cold, cold in general is up, up the mountain. Why do people settle down? Is, uh, why do they go to live in that uh, mountainous uh, area? area? Yeah. Do you okay. know the history? Uh, the history says that uh, during the uh, Ashanti Wars, okay, it's for uh, security. Yeah, we immigrated from Ashanti and uh, came That's to it. that area. Wow, wow, yeah. wow. Okay. Mm. And then from um, Praiso, mm. where is the you live? In Impraiso? After you left Impraiso. Oh. You attended okay. school there? Yeah, I attended mm. school there. Mm. Uh, I started my working uh, in uh, Sunyane, in the Praiso. Sunyane BA, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. BA. What did you do there? Uh, I taught. Well, teacher? I, as a teacher. Uh, are you a trained teacher? I am. Okay. I worked in the, in the, in the office also. I had part-time job with the sports council. Oh? Yeah. What were you doing with the sports council? <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, the regional hockey coach. Wow. And mm. the regional women's sports representative. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Did like, you play hockey yourself? I did it a little. Oh, but no, no, no. to be a coach that should not be it should be an mm -hmm. expert in pain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what did you learn to be a coach then? Why? Where did you learn it? I uh, we had some in service oh, training and the rest. Uh, okay. uh, but so. I, I was uh, all around in so many things. I was <laughs> like, handling the the, 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 the regional uh, basketball. Regional ba the, regional hockey, the, regional yeah, basketball. Yeah, yeah. Women, even uh, even the, the, the boy, netball, at that time there was netball. <laughs> When they mm. send a festival in Accra, so apart from your 
competition you also yeah, do a lot of yeah, sporting yeah, 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 yeah. was it volunteer or were you paid to do this uh Really? Uh, what is it? I, I, I would say I was paid to do no, it. No, no, no. Yeah. So, Sunyani, for how long were you in Sunyani? Mm -hmm. I think about 16 years. Wow. You see? 16 years all the better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so, uh, moving from Paiso to Sunyani, what, yeah. no, what are the main differences between the two? Sunyani is bigger. Yeah, I'm sure it's a very similar. And, what are, the, and uh, what are the uh, other differences? And the price at that time was a distance. Uh, capital. Capital. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, so. At that time, I don't know now. Now we have probably <laughs> divided in so many areas. Yeah. Uh, and there are things you like about Sunyan? I like the place, really. Like what? What it's, do you like? It's, it's, it's one, Sunyan is a beautiful, I can now they call it a mini city. Mm. Uh, the people, I don't know whether it's to be alone. Yeah. We're good. You are accommodating. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, I, I had a nice stay over there. How about the language? You were speaking three? Yeah, it's, it's a can. Okay. Yeah, we also speak a can. So you had no problem no, with no the problem language. language. How about the culture? Uh, it's almost the same. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Our have a uh, similar culture all over uh, the place. Yeah. So you were in Suyani for 16 years? Almost. Teaching and uh, sporting? Sporting. <laughs> in this working in the office. And then, mm. uh, yeah. After that, what, do we, what did we do? Then uh, I thought of... Uh, Traveling, mm -hmm. and so I went first went to Nigeria. Okay, that's a that's a nice story. Why is Nigeria? <laughs> uh, in those days, yeah, you had a lot of Nigeria stories. Nigeria mm. was in need of teachers. Okay, yeah, yeah. And when I was in in, in Sunyani, yeah. I was the district not secretary. National Association of Teachers. Ghana National Association of Teachers. Okay. I was the DC secretary. Wow. And through that, Got I call. came into contact with some Nigerian teachers and the rest. Mm -hmm. Because when they had our national uh, Association uh, oh, yeah. uh, meetings, uh, yeah, some people from Nigeria came. came. And through okay. that, I made friends with some of them. No, that is that the story. Friendship. Was that uh, during the civilian era in Nigeria? I mean, the time the were civilian government was in Nigeria, then they were they needed a lot of teachers. Yeah, right? yeah. When yeah. Uh, the new governor of Lagos State built a lot yeah, of schools. Yeah, yes. Oh, okay, yes. that was Japan. They, they had a lot of schools and all teachers and the rest, and then. Mm. Yeah. Was that the first time you traveled outside yeah. Ghana? Uh, no, I had then gone to Ivory Coast before. Oh, uh, Kodiba. Yeah. What did you do? Oh, just uh, visit. Visit, okay. Yeah. Uh, and so, also, and so Togo, uh, uh, the two places I visited before going to Nigeria. But uh, Nigeria was the first place you stayed outside yeah, of Nigeria. Yeah, stayed and work. What were your impressions of Nigeria? Then? The first time you got there? The <laughs> first time I got to Nigeria. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was shocked with what I saw. Shocked in what sense? In the sense that at the time I left Ghana, mm -hmm. Things were a little hard. Okay. Stores were empty. Oh, that was the, uh, during the yeah. scarcity. And uh, to buy milk and sugar and other things were a bit difficult. You were to struggle. Yeah, yeah. But when I go to I go to Nigeria, mm -hmm. the first place I visited was uh, Ibadan. Okay. But I I I I, I, I stayed in Djibouti right now. But then from Djibouti I visited Ibadan. You came and directly to uh, from Ghana to Djibouti. Djibouti. Yes. Okay, you didn't stay in Lagos. You see? You didn't stay in Lagos. No, no, no. Oh, okay. But ah. later I was visiting Lagos okay. frequently. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And when I went to, to Ibadan Kingsway yeah. store, I just opened my mouth and said, "Wow." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would you imagine? With the elevator and uh, other the, the shops. At the cocoa store area. Yeah, the chicken. The corner <laughs> beef was not in cans. But in the end, so if you want to buy, they wait for you. They take small shovel, they take wait, it and wait. They wait for you. Huh? So you are looking. And even when I came to Europe, I never saw that. <laughs> so you are, you still as the kings were looking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the mighty and beautiful, uh, the Buildings. beauty of the building. And the, but of course, very, very, very big city. Uh, too big. Too big. Yeah, yeah. Compare too with Sunyani. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, what did you do in Bada? No, no, I just, just went to visit. My, my station was Jebode. Mm -hmm. But uh, Jebode is, uh, yeah, 
one of the provincial capitals in Nigeria. In yeah, 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 Yoruba, How did you yeah. cope with the language? Uh, because for you, every, people in, in Nigeria, to... everybody speaks English. Yeah, pidgin, at least pidgin. whether educated or not. Yeah, okay. at least pidgin English. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, so uh, <coughs> language wasn't was a barrier for anybody who could speak English. How about culture? Uh, because there you eat a lot of gari. Okay, <laughs> like, gari was a food I didn't like anyway. Yeah, okay. Then you are yeah, staying in the yeah, yeah, so you must yeah. have some problems. And uh, <laughs> Nigeria culture, weekend, almost every weekend was, 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 I would say, a, a festival weekend. Oh, oh, be, oh, a party. lot of parties, <laughs> what they call Miliki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, Did you participate? The, the school in which I was teaching yeah. was one of the most popular secondary schools in Nigeria. What's the name? Ijibode Grammar School. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the oldest. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's where you were teaching? Yeah. That's and uh, mm. the children who were there mm -hmm. were mostly the children of the top people. Top people. And so, because I was teaching there, yeah, you knew a lot of I, I had a chance of associating myself with big people, big, big men in Nigeria. Mm. Bank managers, these rich men, entrepreneurs, these. Mm -hmm. So, you see, and uh, was it, some uh, of them, even I was doing part time teaching in their houses. Didn't they discriminate against you then? <laughs> what I the saw, what I saw yeah. was that in Nigeria, yeah. they had respect for teachers especially if you're a teacher teaching in the body grammar school because a very well-known school and a quality yeah, school yeah i remember at the time when they asked foreigners to leave mm -hmm. i was going to get to that one yeah okay mm. and uh, somebody saw me and said hey oga you never go and one of the parents of the boys i was teaching mm -hmm. heard it and how he got annoyed and say, hey, this is a grammar school, Master Neo. Mm, that's a grammar, grammar school. school you yeah. have to ask him why did you, why did you, why 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 you never go. go yeah. <laughs> you see? Yeah, 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 yeah. And so they had respect for for teachers, teachers for educated nurses. people. You see? For educated people. Okay. Then then they respect education, yeah. especially the Yoruba part. You see. Go, go, go. So, um, and luckily, I was also staying at the school compound. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. There was no. Yeah. For, um, were you teaching uh, the sub, all the subjects, or were you no, 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 specialized? No, 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 We don't teach all subjects in secondary schools. What do you? Uh, what were you teaching? History and English. History and mm -hmm. English. Yeah. Uh, when we talk history, are we talking African history African, or general African history? African history. Oh, okay. that, well, are that, you that, did? That, that was what we used to go for the GCE. YF, West okay. African schools. Uh, okay. Uh, wow. It's good to meet an historian. <laughs> <laughs> you remember some of the things you were teaching there? Uh, yeah. uh -huh. I think Mongo Park and things like that. <laughs> you still remember some of them? Yeah, okay, I, I do. Okay, yeah. Are you? yeah, and uh, were you teaching yeah. history of Africa? Yeah, history of Africa. Yeah. Uh, specifically, and, uh, which Africa, region? West Africa. West Africa. Yeah. So what did you? What can you tell us uh, briefly about the uh, history of West Africa? <laughs> you want to learn the history a little, from a me little now? Bit, a little bit, <laughs> just for the benefit of our viewers. Yeah. So, oh. Oh, we all know Africa in general was colonized by these five people, mm -hmm. okay, okay. and uh, now you talked about the colonial history and things like that. Uh, yeah. And uh, later, when we came to before uh, get, come, coming to get our independence, some empires rose up. Yeah. Eh? Oh, were very strong ones. And the, the uh, Mali, Songhai, and Ghana uh, Empire. Ghana Mili, uh, uh, so you taught those ones. Uh, all those ones. But yeah, it, yeah. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, mm. people are not learning those things now. I don't know the curriculum for the schools at the moment. moment yeah. But uh, I would say it's nice. But in those learn. days, does it uh, did it help that the children know those things so they can know that uh, the people of West Africa, especially? Mm -hmm. They had a common uh, origin. You, you see, uh, for the West Africa School examination, yeah. there were some comp compulsory subjects, eh? yeah. like English, English mathematics, mathematics uh, was it literature. Uh, literature was not compulsory. Okay, English, yeah. mathematics, yeah. Uh, uh, I think yeah. general science, uh, science, also. science, and yeah. other things. Okay. But <coughs> history mm -hmm. was not compulsory. And so, mm -hmm. when you get to form four, you can then to choose. You, you choose your subjects. And uh, really, only few people choose English. And you choose history. Cho cho choose history. 
But okay. so uh, I was teaching forms four and five. I had only one class for form four and another class, one form. class for form five. Yeah, to prepare them for the work. Yeah, okay. that's why they added English to go. Okay, right. so, oh, so then I will have uh, less to do. <laughs> so you taught uh, you taught English language, but not, did you teach, uh, did you teach uh, English literature also? When, when, when I teach in English languages, but then literature is a, part. Uh, a separate subject yeah. for, for, for the exams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But did you combine the two? Yeah, normally, or? people are doing the A level, um, yeah. going for English mm. literature. But I don't think English literature was part of uh, the O level curriculum uh, exams. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. But do you enjoy teaching? Why not? <laughs> I'm just asking. What did you do? What I do you did. enjoy about teaching? Then? My interaction with, with uh, youth, people, the knowledge. ones, and the rest. Uh, I also have the patience to. That's always uh, the. Uh, 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 you must be very people. patient, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And what are the things you dislike about uh, teaching? Hmm. <laughs> You know, almost every educated person mm -hmm. is a product of a teacher. That's true. But many governments look down upon this profession. And they say your reward is in level. Yeah. That's yeah. what they say. Don't you believe that? And so there's <laughs> a time a lot of teachers were leaving the teaching okay, field yeah, to join yeah, other yeah. companies. Because it pays Where better. Where the pay is better. And uh, the, 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 the type of training we gain from uh, training colleges and the rest mm -hmm. makes us acceptable in so many fields. Yeah, yeah, yeah because we are exposed to many yeah, things. Yeah, so we are exposed to so many things that uh, you don't need any special training to enter into any other, other fields. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, need, it's more not, you, may need you can catch up very, very easily. Yeah. To catch up, and so those who had the opportunity mm. left. Was that the case in both Ghana and Nigeria? There's no premium I, paid I, on. I, I, I think I think Ghana was even better than Nigeria. Oh, they pay, put more premium. No, on no I, don't, I mean, I mean, people live in the free, but Nigeria, mm. I know a lot of people. graduates and the rest. They were even I had a friend mm. who finished his university, and the work he wanted was to work at the border, semi border. And like a I mean, if we call, make it a messenger, and the same, 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 same border there, you must be rich in his memes. <laughs> you see? Yeah, Why do you come yeah, to stay yeah, in the classroom? Yeah, what is it called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See? So that was a big challenge. It was a big challenge. Mm -hmm. What other challenges did you face? You see? What other challenges did you face? And so, that was it. The remuneration for the teachers was not all that. Uh, it was poor. It was poor, really. Why do you think that mm. was, I mean, people recognize the contribution, but why do you think they don't want to remunerate the teachers? I see. They think uh, it's not a priority. Okay. And uh, take uh, schools were in every village. Eh? Yeah. And uh, in those days, the city were only in the, uh, in in the, the, the regional capitals and the, the uh, big cities. And people like to, to have electricity in the houses and the rest. So mm, why do I go to teach and go to the remote the village? Boy, yeah. and then <laughs> my, my counterpart who is just uh, enjoying all yeah, that. The in, the, uh, in the city. So. Oh, okay, okay. so that was a drawback. You see? That was a drawback. A drawback for, 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 for people to so leave the teaching field. As a Ghanaian uh, living in Nigeria in those days, yeah. you have uh, contact with other Ghanaians. We, we, we had association, we had, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we had association. Okay. Well, yeah. What are the things you missed from uh, home? From? Home. What were the things uh, you missed from Ghana when you were in Nigeria? Oh. <laughs> okay, first I left my family in Ghana. Okay, okay. So okay. I Young, to, to young family. Them. Yeah. Why did you bring them to Nigeria? I did later. Oh, you did later. Um, yeah. So the first thing was you missed your family? Yeah. And then uh, the Fufu and the Banku? Oh, okay. we, we are eating fufu and bangu in Nigeria too. Okay, but the kenke? Yeah. Everything. <laughs> okay, Every you food you could get in Ghana. Uh, you could get in Nigeria. You get in Nigeria. And you prepare it. You, uh, you have a shop for Ghanaian shops there? Uh, no, no, no. When I was there, I, I don't remember having Ghanaian But you can use there. the... I, I don't think the set will allow Ghanaian to open a shop there. Okay, you, buy, you, had, you can buy the ingredients. Uh, and from the, the market. Oh, okay. Because the market... <laughs> Were the same 
as much as in Ghana. The ingredients were the same. Yeah, the, those awesome. the things they were saying. So we we'll take this short break, uh, viewers. Uh, please don't go away. <laughs> program focus on africans hosted by the popular pan-african writer femi akomalafe who has devoted his entire life to championing african cause we are like this problem and try to look for solution focus on africans is a program to watch to meet with those with passion to build a better african for ourselves and the coming generations focus on africans together we can build a better africa Welcome back, viewers. The program is focused on Africans, and our guest today is Mr. Kwashi Odame. Yeah, he's telling us about his experiences uh, in um, Price of Soyani, Jebu Ode. Uh, welcome back, uh, Mr. Kwashi. Thank you, Mr. Fengli. Yeah, you were talking about uh, Nigeria. Yeah. For how long were you in Jebu Ode? Why? For how long were you there? How many years? Um, about uh, seven years. Wow, teaching? Yeah. You, were you also in uh, sports? Because in Suyani you did some sports. Yes, I, I also handled sports in my, my, my school. Okay, so you didn't leave your sport. Okay, uh, yeah. It's, it's what a, sport were you handling there? We had no sports master. Oh. And so I was the acting sports master. <laughs> With extra pay? No. <laughs> Volunteer? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And I enjoyed it. Okay, okay. Did you travel around uh, Nigeria? Uh, a little bit. Do you remember all the pla some places you went to? Yeah. I went to Ife. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, I went to. Uh, you uh, mentioned Ibadan. Ibadan. Mm -hmm. I went to Lagos. I went to Abiyokuta. A lot of Ghanaians I've uh, met who went to Nigeria, they're always afraid of Lagos. Yeah. What were your impressions of Lagos? <laughs> <laughs> uh, anytime I go to Lagos yeah. and come back, I say <laughs> prayers to thank God. Why is that? Because <laughs> life was valueless. And I know this, I don't know now. Yeah. In Nigeria, in Lagos. in Lagos. You didn't like it? You could say that, oh, you are working on the pavement and so you are free. A car can cramp the pavement because... Lawlessness. The, the, the lawlessness. Mm -hmm. uh, we were lucky we had this mobile police mm -hmm. who were in to check. Mm -hmm. They had canes to cane drivers. And and were just in bit discipline. sanity into, into the system. Into, into was the Jebuad they not like that? No. Yeah, but also not. Jebuad. And what a, a lot of people mm. were afraid of Jebuad. And because of... Uh, they say Juju, Juju and yeah. the rest. Eh? Why are you not afraid? And yeah. I tell you, mm. Jebuad was a very peaceful place to stay. Yeah, because I also when I was young, I remember that a lot. Yeah. People are afraid of the Jebuad. They said they have Juju and things like that. A teacher... Mm was brought from Lagos to Jebode. Uh, Jebode Grammar School. Yeah. And the parents did not allow this young man to stay in Jebode. And so he was coming from Lagos every day to come and teach. Say, Jebode? No, you can't stay in Jebode. He was uh, every day has to go up and Yeah. Up. Oh. Because the man was afraid to stay in Jebode. But you were not. But <clears throat> if you come to stay there, you see that it's not what people say. Jebode, the reputation. Jebode, yeah. Jebode, the yeah. bad reputation. About the, about the, now I would say city, 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 and you stayed seven years here? Yeah. What were the low points? What are some of the things you didn't like about it? <clears throat> I, I don't know whether it's because of my character or what. <laughs> Always, everywhere I go, uh, people like me. Okay, yeah. Before going to stay in the, and even at the school compound, somebody yeah. offered me a free accommodation. In the town? In the town. Okay. And the man, that man had a shop. And told me that come to my shop, anything you need, come and pick it for free. Mm. Yeah. Well, so you had a good time in the Jebode. Yeah, good I memories. Did. I did. And I uh, did. unfortunately, in 19, was it 80, yeah, the Nigerian government expelled Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. Where were you then? I was still in Nigeria. How did you hear the news? Uh, it wasn't the present news. How did you hear it? Was, uh, on how the radio or somebody? Oh, yeah, how did I hear the news? Okay. Yeah. Ah, you see. 
uh, watch a television. Uh, uh, Nigeria at that time had a lot of uh, TV television TV. channels. Mm -hmm. When Ghana had only one television channel at that time, Nigeria had about... Every state has its own one channel, channel. And, then the and then the federal, federal had about five. Okay. So, so suddenly so, you were watching television? Yeah, and yeah saying, always, always. And they said Ghana must go? Yeah. How did you feel? Uh, it wasn't the uh, first time news for <laughs> me. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. And, uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, even though it didn't affect me. Affected but your family have joined you then? Yeah, yes. They, when they joined me, mm. that the time they... Uh, oh, the expulsion, all that came? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, and luck friend. luckily, I was also staying in the school compound. Okay. See. And uh, in fact, uh, they were chasing those with that profession mostly because nurses and teachers, uh, they were not touching them a lot. Uh, Unless you meet uh, this, uh, you know, some of these uh, police, they, they don't care. Mm -hmm. f f as far as we are a Ghanaian, they say you have to go. Mm -hmm. Even if you produce your passport, I have to stay. They can't even tell there you uh, your passport. Uh, mm -hmm. you take away your passport. Why are you the only Ghanaian teaching in that school? We had, we, we, I think, 10 Ghanaians. At the Jebo de Grand? Yeah, 10 okay. it's, a, it's a big school okay. with a lot of. And, uh, and the, the 10 states there behind? Uh, one class, we have form one, we have A, B, C, D, E, each Each class has about five. Okay, yeah. okay. It's a very big school. Okay. If, uh, so throughout the uh, sport, you stay at the school? Yeah. Okay. With the other Ghanaians? <coughs> we are only two. The, uh, Three Ghanaians staying on the school. Oh, okay, the rest okay. were staying on their own yeah, homes. Yeah. And then, after the explosion, what happened? Did you uh, feel safe? In fact, I didn't meet any um, much problem. But, I mean, yeah. uh, when the government asked the people to go, Yeah. And, and did you feel safe as a, as a citizen of Ghana? Or you felt threatened? A bit, a bit threatened, yeah. because there, there yeah. were some people you meet they don't on the street, and they don't care who uh, are, what you are, and uh, they can see us straight away that we're the Ghanaian. And then they, yeah. For how long? But I personally they didn't beat such a uh, situation. To you, okay. And then uh, what happened? You keep so on teaching. I, I I decided to leave Nigeria to okay. Europe. It was a big step. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when. Uh, Coming from Nigeria, mm -hmm. did you travel back to Ghana or you came directly to Europe? Uh, it was easy at that time from Nigeria. to travel from Nigeria okay, okay, okay. than to travel. Which country from was your? But then yeah. uh, I couldn't take the visa from Nigeria okay. because it's a, it's a Ghanaian you are Ghanaian, so I had to come to Ghana to take the visa to take uh, the British visa because I first went to Britain. Okay, yeah. you first went to Britain. Yeah. What year was that, if you remember? Uh, 86. Wow. So you arrived in uh, London? Mm -hmm. for, for a short time, okay. then I came here. And from arrived um, in Europe? Yeah. What were your impressions of uh, Europe? You feared so much about uh, <laughs> okay. Europe, uh, London, and... <laughs> yeah. In fact, my imagination of Europe... Yeah was higher than what I saw. Was it below your expectation? Yes, I would say that. <laughs> see. What are because the what, what I was, was imagining Europe this that because and then when I came. Yeah. So no, it's not what I no, it's, it's because if I go to Nigeria, mm -hmm. Lagos, mm -hmm. Victoria Island mm -hmm. and see how the things are and yes they always say, oh East Africa is not a and I came to his house, but there are some <laughs> shops, buildings that I could, I could not even find here. And so, but I was thinking, then oh, you look like this. So that's why was my okay. expectation. That's so. Okay. You were comparing. And, and, the, and then I came yeah. during the winter. Mm. and uh, <laughs> At the wrong time. <laughs> no, no one advised you. Yeah, yeah. No one advised you. Yeah. But the uh, winter. Okay. Mm. You came in winter. In winter. You saw no, snow. No, yeah. No, no, November. You came in November? Yeah. Oh, boy. So my first time was fishing snow. And yeah, it must be. Yeah. I, I remember uh, a friend of mine, one of my teachers, who were, who were teaching uh, mm. uh, the first one left to uh, 
Germany, mm -hmm. and then he was send the pictures, uh, yeah, yeah, and then letters, and said, "Oh, snow is like a cotton wool <laughs> dropping from <laughs> heaven," and they just to, so just to get to know what what snow is like. Yeah. To me, yeah? So you next a cotton wool dropping from Bible. the sky. Yeah. Then uh, in a waterfall. <laughs> so did you pack some when you? <laughs> did you go out to pack some? When when, when the snow fell. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember, <laughs> but I think so. Oh, yeah. Okay. So and, uh, and I enjoy. I I like I like the snow. I love to see the snow. But yeah. Europe didn't meet your expectation. Oh no no not 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 that way. But mm -hmm. I mean, you but, expected oh, too much from it. Or? Too much too much from it. Mm -hmm. you see. And that time too, the economy of Nigeria was very good. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. One dollar was sixty nine kobo. Less than one naira. Yeah, less than one naira. Yeah. And so. And you were any good well, in Nigeria? When, 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 when I checked the prices of goods in Nigeria. When I came here, I went to the shop. I saw, oh, sardine sells this. You cannot sell. It's too expensive. <laughs> no, what do you do? You cannot go. <laughs> you didn't bring enough from Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was thinking it's too expensive. Okay, you are comparing because, Nigeria. Yeah, at that time, <clears throat> with one nara, mm -hmm. you could go to the market, the market and to buy everything you want. You see. So, did yeah. you regret uh, coming to England? Eh? Uh, no. 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 Okay, because you are okay, compared. Because you are compared. No, the, the only thing, okay, but in in general, on the on the bro, bro, okay. broader side, uh, you can't compare Africa to Europe. Europe, Europe yeah. yeah. So, uh, what did you do in England? No, no, no. Just, 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 just transit. Step over. Okay, then you came to the yeah. Netherlands. Yeah. Uh, coming from uh, Africa, you sp where you speak uh, English. Yeah. And you landed in a different culture. Yeah. Did you feel any cultural shock? When you came to Amsterdam? When I came to Amsterdam? Yeah. One of the places I first worked, if you dare to speak Dutch, my boss will be annoyed with you. If you speak Dutch? Yeah. You see a Dutch guy? Yeah, yeah you say speaking, don't spoil our language. That's what, the, that was, what was happening at that time. You say you shouldn't spoil the language? Their language, because you, 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 you are not mangling speaking, it. You, you are not speaking the good Dutch. You are, and you. they don't want you to spoil And what was more was that they wanted, everybody was speaking English. And they wanted, they wanted to polish their English. So they were using it. You, and they were so using they wanted to speak English with you. Oh? Yeah, that was what job in the, was in the 80s. What job were you doing? Okay, I worked at, uh, at the Rai. Okay, where well, they have the exhibition. Inter inter international Conference Center. Yeah, uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. that's a very big, okay. busy place. Exhibition. Busy place. International yeah. exhibition. Yeah, international exhibition. Oh, okay. And so I yeah. love working at that place too. Right. Very yeah. busy. Yeah, I can imagine because yeah. they have all these uh, international yeah. Yeah. exhibitors coming yeah. to exhibit. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's why you sh they choose to use English. Yeah. It makes uh, good sense. Yeah. Okay. And not only that, on so many places, even when you go to the bureau where they... Uh, yeah, uh, labor they, agencies. They, they, yeah, they, they, they like to speak English with you. In those days? Yeah. Wow. And so the, 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 the <coughs> question of street debt, otherwise no job, but just came when uh, it was yeah. a means of uh, the shortlisting yeah. uh, workers. Eh? Because when, the, the, when the economy the, started the, going yeah, back. Yeah. Even in those days, yeah. if you have a brother, oh, can you, have, can you bring somebody to the come and work? work? Yeah. And, being, so, and I remember when I first went, first went to Okura. To Okura work. Hotel. Yeah. Okay. They were asked if you bring uh, somebody, they give you 500 euros. A girl that's at that, at that time. If you bring a worker to work. Uh, if you bring some, a worker to work. So yeah. how many people did you bring today? <laughs> <laughs> no, the one you bring yeah. should stay. I think, I, was this one man for three months? Really? Before they give you the money. The mm -hmm. one you bring will stay and work. Okay, okay, okay. So there was shortage of yeah. uh, labor then? There was shortage? Yeah, yeah, there was shortage of labor. Well. That's uh, when you look back, those were really beautiful days. Yeah, they were really. Okay. Really. So from Rai, you, what else did you do? Um, you work at the Rai. Yeah. And I play with uh, the exhibition. I, 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 in fact, I, mm -hmm. I met uh, uh, some small problems here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, but then. With the authorities? No, 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 no I never, mm -hmm. on my own. Yeah, yeah. Because in those days, the police also were active. If the listen we take, they take you back home. They were looking for you. Yeah. yeah. Especially when you, so have to you try to avoid them, protect yourself, wow. and even sometimes you don't even have to put a key in your pocket because when you are when you are caught, you are searched. <laughs> when even you go for your pay slip, 
Mm. As soon as you are giving a pay slip, you tell it and throw it away. Because when you are caught and they see you with a pay slip, yeah, yeah, yeah. they know where you are working, they will chase you. Know, so in one, in some so, ways, it was a good. Uh, yeah. It was good in those yeah, days, but uh, yeah, and that was the day. Yeah, I remember I, some stories that uh, from uh, employers they don't want to play to pay people. Um, when it's paid, they will call the police. If they come and they wait for it. <laughs> okay, I heard of that. I never saw one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow, uh, it's likely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, apart from the ride, where yeah. else did you work? Uh, at the skipper. Okay, skipper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You remember any other place? Were you yeah. working uh, directly or through the job agency? Okay, uh, all through job agencies. Mm. And uh, this is the reason why even I left all those good places to come to Opera because there I was able to get fast direct job. job. Direct oh, okay. Job. Then you got uh, the you get direct pay from the people, not from yeah, the yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. But uh, to really speaking, mm. when 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 I was working through the agencies, I think I was earning more. But so it was not permanent. It was not permanent. Yeah, be sacked at any time. Yeah, then yeah. you can get uh, one yeah. month, three months. Yeah, or, uh, yeah. But uh, when, when you... I was working through the agencies, you are paid every 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 Friday. week. Uh, every every week, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Wow. Uh, <laughs> weekly. But uh, Okura, uh, they pay monthly. When you got when, when, when anybody who works a, a permanent job is paid monthly. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Uh, through the agencies, they are paid weekly. What did you do? Okura is one of the biggest hotels. Eh? Yeah, the biggest, I think one of the biggest hotels in Europe. Okay. It's a five star hotel with two uh, Michelin awards. Yeah. With two what? Michelin awards. One say a hotel oh, has a Michelin, Michelin, Michelin award. Oh, yeah, that yeah. means one Michelin award alone oh. uh, is, is. And so it's mm. one of the best hotels in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what did you do there? As a cook. Wow. Yeah. When you were a teacher, why did you learn how to cook? Okay. I, <laughs> I learned it from Rye. The at exhibition, the Rye, yeah? I was at the kitchen. Wow. I learned a lot. Okay. So, yeah. And then you said, you did, uh, mostly they asked you for diploma. Did you have a diploma? They didn't. Okay. But then, <laughs> my boss, mm. Uh, look at the practical side of it instead of uh, uh, paper, the paper, one. paper paper one. Yeah. Come and cook something. Uh-huh. And what did you cook and for so them? A banku or? <laughs> oh no! At the five thousand. At the five thousand, you don't expect you? to have banku. What and, did you cook uh, for In fact, I was the, the breakfast cook, oh, so we cannot talk of breakfast. Mm. Uh, wow! You know, the food we eat at breakfast is not mm. all this. Uh, yeah. mm. Complicated. Uh-huh. And for how long were you with Okura? Uh, oh. Okura, I think uh, about, about uh, 12 to 13 years. You're always consistent, eh? Yeah. You stayed t- 16 years with uh, your teaching, as you know? Yeah. You yeah. yeah. the seven years. Yeah. So if you have a good job, you stay? Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. And then? And uh, then t- t- I went on, on pension. So you stay with Okura until your... Yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. I retired as a cook from Okura with the... So you are retired? Yeah. With a pension from Okura Hotel or from a uh, uh, pension fund? No, no, when you go on pension, it's not a, the hotel. Uh, uh, the hotel that pays you. Mm. you. First, when you are working, you build your own no pension. pension yeah, yeah. And so when you retire, the state supports the, the state also has something for you. Mm. And because I was working with a, uh, uh, at the, I was at the restaurant, mm-hmm. there's what you call here, Horeca. Eh? Horeca, yeah. And so Horeca also mm-hmm. pays a little for my pension. Okay. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And then if you, during the time of your work, if you had any, made, made any insurance, the and insurance then also, I also okay. made the insurance, and so the insurance also will pay you. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Congratulations, uh, Mr. Yeah. So you enjoy your pension? Yeah. I How does it feel to be on pension? For those of us who are still <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You have enough uh, time for yourself. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the pension. Mm-hmm. Even though if I want to work, yeah, I can work. Yeah. Hey, when when Okura even would like me, he would be happy. Oh, to see me back to do uh, what what they call contract job. Okay, yeah. but you don't feel like it. No, you because for those twelve years, I'm telling you, I was waking up at three a.m. every day. Three a.m. Yeah. Until what time? To, to take the night bus. Yeah. And then uh, so, you know, I was for twelve at, years. Yeah, I was mm-hmm. closing at one o'clock in the afternoon. But when I came, I had no time even to sleep in the afternoon. I'm going here, you know, working with the church and this and that. And so 
I was so busy even to have a, no. a siesta, uh, wow. after, afternoon sleep. I saw that uh, thing. I was on a train and I saw the train full of uh, mostly Africans. Some uh, of them was even uh, sleeping. Those in, in the train, yeah. yeah. Those were the things you were doing. Yeah, I was not in the doing. I mean, in the three a.m. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, Did you get the, any the, citation? The, 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 the breakfast starts at six. So you have to so be prepared. To be there early to start. Uh, Did they give you any citation or certificate of appreciation? Oh, yes. Okay. I, I think I have, I have been there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We will show it, so it, will show it to you. <laughs> and uh, since you, when, when did you go on retirement? Uh, three years ago. Three years ago. What have you been doing? Um, I'm working with the church. Okay, you are very active in your. Uh, okay, as an elder. Yeah, I'm taking care of my family too. Mm. Well, you are a teacher. You have a lot of experience with the uh, sport. Yeah. Have you considered writing uh, your history or your story? <laughs> in a book form. Yeah, in a book form. Anyway, I've put down something small, but. Uh, <coughs> mm. It would be because I think one. One of the things we don't do much in Africa is documenting mm. for posterity. You have a lot of uh, experience which uh, could benefit people, which uh, the children also could learn from. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's time uh, you really seriously consider it. You have the ability, you have the education. Oh, yeah. uh, maybe you work with somebody to to put in a book form. So okay. Sometimes I'm invited to places to talk. Okay. And yeah. Address and, 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 and yeah, I was going to ask. Yeah. You are busy with the Ghanaian community. Yeah. Uh, how active are you? Very active. Very active. And so I, I, I was even t t discussing something, somebody, something, somebody that uh, at the time I was working. Mm -hmm. For more than thirty years, I never missed a copy of New African. The magazine. The magazine. From Nigeria to Europe, and I never missed a copy. Wow. And the one I buy, I read from cover to cover. Mm. But since I came home, I'm not able, I buy, but I'm not able to read. Since you and, retired? Yeah, it's so strange, eh? Since I retired. <laughs> no time to read or, <laughs> yeah. or no more interest? Uh, I, I, can't, I can't even uh, just No explain. interest? No, the interest is there. Why should I buy? But then, <laughs> mm. <laughs> the reading. Uh, wow. Uh, don't you find okay. it that a pity? It's a pity. But then no other priority. Uh, I have time for myself. Yeah. I wake up when I want to wake up. Mm -hmm. But before uh, alarm was waking me up every every day. Yeah, yeah, no, you, you make and your own yeah, schedule. It, yeah. It has become being part of me that even when I go to bed at one o'clock, one AM and sometimes I never go to bed early. Around twelve o'clock, twelve midnight. I like football. I will stay when there is a football match. Watching <laughs> football. I have to watch all football matches, <laughs> listening to news, and uh, mm -hmm. before I go to bed. But if, by four o'clock, I'm up. Three hours of sleeping. Yeah, I, I was used to that for those years, and still. Oh, the body gets adjusted yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I don't feel sick. I feel, I feel. I, feel. Mm -hmm. I never, I've never been to hospital as a sick person. Mm -hmm. I go there almost every three months for, for checkup. Check yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not as a. Mm. A patient. Well, mm. do the uh, yeah as an elderly person in the community. Yeah. Do you also mentor some of the children? Do you give them advice? Mm. Do they come to you? I, a lot of people mm. when uh, young ones when they are going to get married, I give them a okay, marriage okay. counseling. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, they come to me for marriage counseling. Okay. And uh, in this, we try to find out uh, the challenges. Mm -hmm. Uh, Africans or mostly the Ghanaian community face in this country nowadays. Mm -hmm. Because in the time you were mentioned in 1986, mm -hmm. things were a lot uh, easier for people. So yeah. what are the main challenges facing the Ghanaian community now, today? <coughs> uh, in fact, most of the young ones are not seizing the opportunity they have here. What way, sir? Uh, in the way that they have the chance to go to school, they have to ch the chance to better their lives here. But some of them will not go to school. Are they misled or do they don't uh, recognize the importance of education? The most pitiable side of it is that one want to come here, yeah. come alone. 
-hmm. and later have children in, the, in Ghana, you mm -hmm. go to bring them. And most of the children we go to bring from Ghana, mm -hmm. when they come here, it becomes difficult to control. They join the bad gangs and the rest. Unlike those who are born here, yeah, okay. okay. Now you make a very important distinction. So people, the people born here, they behave differently. Differently from those who bring from Ghana. Especially if you bring somebody who is more than 10 years from Ghana and bring the one here. They become difficult to control. More than 70% of them change. Negatively? Negatively. Why do you think that is, sir? I, I, I don't know whether it's a great change. You see, some people... They couldn't cope with it. When there's a change mm. in their life, mm. and it's mm. uh, a big change, mm. they may tend to misbehave. It overwhelms them. Yeah. Say, ah, mm. what, what, Ghana, I, 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 didn't have this, I didn't have enough of this, I didn't have this. I didn't. So, and so when they come to see, they grab it. So it's mostly I consumption. Can, I can... I can when when these uh, Eastern European countries uh, yeah, yeah, have not been uh, liberated, uh, liberated, the life went there was good. They're not. But when the the criminality, not. so it Before is a, there was no, the, it the, was the, a the, human grid. So. Yeah. So that's a big problem. The so, uh, so when a person is uh, is suppressed for a long time and mm -hmm. he's freed, most of them begin to misbehave. So it's like uh, this. Uh, I don't mean that they're starving in Ghana. But when they come here, they see all this uh, luxury. They want to consume everything or what? Uh, yes, not 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 not, not the, on the on the side of the food and the no. I mean the, the yeah. luxury. Yeah, 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 the luxury, yeah. and then uh, they, they will <coughs> learn their computer and use it for the wrong purpose. They will learn this and then yeah. You see, what and before <coughs> yeah, it was not like the that. police. Everybody, they know, a Ghanaian is a hardworking person. Yeah, that's what I wanted to if say. If anything is. Uh, falsification of papers, identity to get to get help no. to work. To they work. know it. They know that one. Yeah. They know everything. They know everything. But now it's and so they like this. You see. So it's now to commit. But crime. now it's changing. Most of them are joining gangs. The gangs. So and that's a big which problem. Is a very, pity, <clears throat> very very pity. What are the elders doing about it? The Ghanaian elders. Oh, they are, we are. They are doing a lot, really. Mm. The groups, <coughs> uh, they, they are organizing the symposium and the rest. Unfortunately, the unfortunate part of that, such people may not even attend your, your symposiums and the rest. They're not interested. Oh, well, 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 they don't need it, you see. And so, mm. but then those who are yeah, on, on our television, Ghanaian television, on Ghanaian radio, mm -hmm. they, they, they are trying to educate the children. And, uh, okay. uh, on this uh, program, sir, we try to talk about uh, Africa. Yeah. You've been to Nigeria, you see our life there, you've been, you were born in Ghana. Yeah. And uh, you have uh, had a uh, long experience in Europe. Yeah. What lessons do you think we can learn from Europe? <laughs> it's unfortunate when you, you go through the backgrounds of our leaders in Africa. Mm -hmm. Most of them were trained in Europe. But they didn't learn the correct They thing. are not <laughs> impacting what they learned from Europe, Example. In, 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 in their countries. Example. Uh, take taxation. Okay. In the Western world, mm -hmm. taxation is something if you, if you fall victim to it, they don't pardon you. And they don't joke with it. They don't joke with it because that is what they are yeah. using to develop their country. Okay. But mm. when you go to most African countries, they don't bother the rich men, the rich people don't pay tax. No. no it's no. only those who are doing the government job the where the tax is taken. <coughs> the civil servants. Yeah, the civil servants who are suffering. Could it be because we have uh, resources and a country like Netherlands, they don't have any resources? In uh, Ghana, Nigeria, they are gold, they are yeah, oil, oil, and oil, everything. And uh, here, you see what the government does with your tax. So people pay tax willingly, but in uh, Ghana or Nigeria, we're still battling with uh, electricity, no water, you have to look for your own generator, you have to look. So why should the government tax you? <laughs> no, I'm just uh, uh, I mean, maybe uh, la Last know. Sunday, yeah. in the afternoon, I was listening to a program from BBC World. Yeah. And uh, 
they were interviewing three people, mm. one from Ghana, one from Nigeria, one from Malawi yeah. at uh, Addis Ababa. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And they said, Africa is endowed with many resources. Yes. Yeah. And we are poor. This was in word. No resources? Yeah, no resources. And but you have and electricity to the Yeah. And uh, I, I was listening to some the contribution. uh, uh, contributions. One said, we are the architects of our own, own doom. Yeah. Because some of them said, we are colonized. Take Ghana, for example, more than about 54 years of uh, independence. Mm -hmm. And so we, we can't blame the white We're for still colonizing us, for doing this against us. Even they stole everything, everything from us. From yeah. For 55 years, you have to recover by now. 55 does it take 55 years to yeah. make electricity yeah you see yeah and so we can but even what they left behind for for us we have not been able to keep yeah, you, you uh, measure railway that. railways for yeah. example we have not measured standard it <laughs> it's not working in ghana it's not working in nigeria either so you see so but, but you, you mentioned yeah. taxation and i ask you why should people in ghana yeah. or nigeria pay okay that? uh last week yeah i heard from the ghana radio mm. that uh People who have invaded tax. Yeah. I don't know what I heard it where. Yeah. But I think uh, nobody told me mm. that they should not fear. They can still pay mm, yeah, without yeah. any uh, extra penalty. Uh, uh, penalty. Okay. Maybe you it's see, a good idea. But, uh, but no. You, then you, you are paving you the way for people for to, 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 to evade. Because after all, if I'm caught, okay. they, will, they will give me time to pay. If I give an example, there are some rural tolls in Ghana. Yeah. And the people pay every day. But then what do the government use the money for? Because the roads are getting deplorable <laughs> and uh, they're uh, not using uh, the money to uh, fix the road. Yeah, uh, they use the, you pay road tax, but they use the road money to fix the roads. So you have uh, good roads everywhere. I met somebody here. Yeah. Who is a bus conductor in Ghana. Okay. And what he told me was that mm. they have duplicate tickets to sell in the bus. But the and so when the bus, in those days, the buses were running well, and then we call it omnibus in yeah, Ghana. Yeah, omnibus, yeah. Yeah, and you go into You are giving well, a, a, a bulk ticket. Oh, eh? Official ticket. Official tickets. But if they had to work from for, for, for 10 hours or so, 8 hours, the first 6 hours, they will sell their own tickets. That's part of the corruption? Yeah. So correct and then yeah. the officials in the office know because get that what is, this is what is happening. Mm -hmm. And so at the end of the day, yeah. you have to give them their share. To deliver, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see? Mm -hmm. You have to give them their share. So you think and so if you fail to do that, the next day you see that uh, uh, an, an inspector yes. will come to the bus. Oh, if you don't deliver. Yeah, to inspect. So and that's then, they, then they see that there's uh, that fake tickets. So and then they, and oh, so everybody okay. must. So that's and part so of the they're collecting collecting from head to so, toe. Okay. So we have you can learn uh, how to collect taxes. We can learn uh, less see? corruption. What other things and, uh, can we learn? Uh, this, if I, I, in fact, I, I have planned to <laughs> go to Ghana and make this suggestion. Okay. That Ghanaians or Africans mm -hmm. outside the country. Mm -hmm should be made to pay something in form of tax to support the country. Because yeah, we are pay, yeah. paying taxes here. Yeah. Diaspora tax. Yeah. Because uh, I learned uh, a place like... Uh, Israel? Uh, 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 India. 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 India the rest, China, when, when, when they are away from India, mm -hmm. they pay tax. Small money. To, and it, it helps the government. And the... Part of the thing we try to find out on this uh, program is also there are a lot of uh, Africans, Ghanaians who are outside the country. Mm -hmm. They make enormous contribution to their country by true remittances. Yeah, and now they are getting the uh, like yourself. You, and throughout your working life, you'll be sending money to Ghana. Yeah. And now it's not time also to ask what the country can do to help uh, people like you. And settle down in Ghana, or is rather, it rather, rather, rather they okay. frustrate us when you go there. That's what I mean. Because I mean, uh, it's I, like I, they don't recognize. You see, this since they yeah. are meant for shipping, mm -hmm. but I'm thinking, why, why do I continue shipping? I, I better if I sell it for one euro here, it will be 
my 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 that's my, the type my, of process we're talking about. My storeroom is full. That's the type of process. That's Ghana. the type of process we try to find answers yeah. to. People, uh, I was thinking that uh, if people like you can form an association, you, I think the <coughs> in Ghana the remittances from the diaspora is the largest, yeah. bigger than Coco. Yeah. So why can't you get uh, together and say, oh, we demand this thing from the government? I I, I don't think uh, it will work. The government will want you. Okay, let, let, hey, let, 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 your, let, let him say okay, something. Okay, all your all your remittance for two months. Let's see what what they will Okay, that would have been worked. But then, yes. uh, even about two days ago, I was discussing with my daughter. Yeah. That why don't we ask all, all Ghanaians Just outside Ghana month. to stop shipping things to the Tamil yeah, uh, that uh, have? Yeah, until they give you good rate. Good rate. My last. Uh, a container I made, mm. I put in the car, mm. and uh, when the the, 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 the the goods go to Ghana, mm. we have 21 days to uh, to, 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 to clear, clear, otherwise it goes to tax. Okay. I was told, yeah, I was told the chassis number of the car mm. was wrong, mm -hmm. and so they have sent it to tax, uh, to, to, uh, uh, no, 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 to Rotterdam, in Amsterdam, because it was shipped from Rotterdam. They sent it back? No, 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 no. Okay. They have uh, well, send it uh, informed the shippers okay, that the chassis number of the car, yes. and so it should be corrected. Okay. And so I sent a message that, okay, then let them put down the car mm -hmm. and make the duty of the other goods. Mm -hmm. So that all the things don't go to demolish. Yeah. They no, since everything is on, on one paper, they won't do that. So, okay, I waited almost one month. Have you got it? He said, no. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go to uh, call, call those uh, shippers from? So I called. In fact, we checked and saw that there. Yeah, in fact, zero was omitted in the number. And then you have to go into demolition. And by that, I was about more than two and a half months and had to pay a lot. We're going to have zero. We're going to have one figure. And when I, I they went into my container, mm. stole a lot of things. My car radio because I knew the car was in the in the container. I didn't remove anything from it. And so that's those the are spare parts in the car, everything. Those are type of the frustration you people are facing. See? And that's why all these things I see here. I feel like that. Uh, because you mentioned that uh, people And uh, in Ghana, mm -hmm. not long ago, one man I don't know is called Anas. Mm -hmm. Anas I'm here. Where I had a secret investigations yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, the, the results he brought out came out with was horrible, especially at the harbor. Yeah. You know what happened? Yeah. The the big boss of the harbor was only transferred. That's all. I, think, I remember the president. And now I understand there. the corruption is at its worst. I remember the president went there to make a lot of speech. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Okay. and only one person, mm -hmm. not even punished, but and transferred. transferred. So, how, how, yeah, so this man risked his life to do this investigation. To do what he did. Mm -hmm. And nothing came out good. Nothing good came out of it. It's made a lot of uh, reportage on corruption, but uh, we still wait. And um, yeah, we talk a lot about uh, the problems we're facing. Yeah. But do you have any project going on in Ghana? Are you you are you planning to set up a project? No. Uh, <laughs> or you just uh, you retired? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for for for, for, for some reasons, I would like you to uh, excuse that. Oh, you no, know, it's okay. No <laughs> problem with that one. And uh, you also said that uh, the government should introduce. The aspera taxation, but you're facing a lot of uh, frustration already. Okay, but now if they make if, it, if only if they it make will it be used where if yeah. they make it a specific project that like, yeah. uh, the diaspora, the Ghanaian diaspora in Netherlands, they want to do this project, they mm. want to fund it. Yeah, that also could be a good idea. Well, well, one thing I would have suggested that mm. place like the harbor, mm. the lunches office, this and that and that, nobody should pay this kind of money. We should all pay. Or go to pay it at the bank. Okay, that's a good thing. Yeah. You see, yeah, yeah. when you pay something at the bank, the money goes straight into the account. Yeah, okay, yeah. And so, even if you want to uh, charge thing. more than necessary, mm -hmm. it will not, do not come to you. It doesn't come to your pocket. It doesn't come to your pocket. That's a very good idea. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I've got down so many things. I want, to, I, I want to go back to Ghana and yeah. make these suggestions to the powers that be. Okay, but don't you think it would be more forceful? Mm -hmm. If you can get like-minded people like yourself, yeah. you put this officially, maybe you get uh, the parliament uh, as a delegation from here, or you pass it through the <laughs> ambassador. No, 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 not, not long ago, yeah. 
I wrote to a ministry. Okay. I, I don't. I don't want to defend defend okay. this. That I want to bring a project mm -hmm. to Ghana. The project is such a big one that I can't finance it, and so I want to work with the government. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and so I sent the letter to the minister mm -hmm. in charge. Yeah. With a copy to our embassy in, in Den Haag. What happened? I heard nothing from the embassy. Oh boy. <laughs> but I sent somebody to the um, ministry? ministry to check. He said, oh, no, they want uh, the address of my partner, the business partners. To the, the address. To the Kagura. So what do you want the address <laughs> of the business partners for? To the Kagura, the yeah, they can sideline you. And then take over, take over the, the job. Oh. And I tried to give the address, and that was the end. That was the end of it. Yeah. Oh so many sad stories say we are done. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you all the best of yeah. luck. Yeah. And I wish the boy also okay. yeah. So, what plans do you have? Uh, are you plan? Yeah. We would like to see your yeah. memoir. We would like to see you write your whole story. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm on yeah, it. I think the I'm on young it. ones can benefit yeah. from it. I'm on it. Thank yeah. you very much, oh, Mr. Adame, for It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much, viewers, for watching this uh, episode of uh, Focus on Africa. Yeah, as usual, we learn a lot from uh, our guests. And uh, Mr. Adame has been very open. He has told a lot of things. And uh, especially on now, we can improve the situation back home. Um, taxation, they're not proper. I think also it has to be linked with uh, the address system. How do people pay tax when there are no addresses? Yeah. I mean, uh, those, we have, I really have to st uh, build structures and institutions to support these things. Taxation is what um, several countries in uh, Europe uh, live on. They haven't got more, much resources. Luckily for us, we are blessed with a lot of resources in Africa, but that doesn't mean that uh, people should not pay tax because uh, then you see what directly contributing to the development of the nation. My name is Femi Akomalafe. The program is focused on Africans. And uh, today, Ama was happy. I've been happy with uh, as, a, uh, as our videographer. Thank you very much, uh, Ama. And on behalf of uh, my wonderful crew in Ghana, and also our advertisers who made this program possible, I say thank you very much for helping. And until next week, when we come your way with another edition, I say. Even <laughs>